Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple birthday card in Word. I'm currently using Office 365 version 16 and I'm working on a Mac with a Wacom tablet. So the first thing to note is I've got my default document open which is an A4 page. Now if we put this A4 page through the printer then it's not going to produce a card, it's just going to print a design as it would do on a plain piece of paper. So what we have to do first of all is to format our page. So the first thing we need to do is to go to layout and go to orientation, click on the drop down and turn the page around to landscape. Now at the moment my page is A4, but if you did want to change the page size, then you can simply click on this icon up here saying size, you're in the layout tab, and then you can select from the variety of options given here. Now the second thing we need to do is to sort out our margins, because as you can see at the top here, we have quite wide margins and we also need to divide the page in two. So the first thing we should do is to go up to this icon here on columns, click on the drop down, and I'm going to click here on more columns. I'm going to select two columns here, and I've just seen that the spacing around the outside is fine, but the spacing on the middle is too narrow. So if we were to place a picture or a design in here, it would default to be slightly towards the left of the page. So when you folded the card in half, your design would be slightly over to the left. So we need to create almost a double space in the center of those columns to allow for the fold. So if we click off, what we need to do is to go up to margins, click on custom margins. And what we're gonna do in here is just to simply select 0.5 on each margin. and select OK, and then just click Ignore. So now our margins are a lot more narrow. So if we now go up to Columns, select Columns, More Columns, and select Two. Now what you can see is that we have this much wider margin in the center, which will allow for the design to be correctly centered when we place it on the right-hand side. So we just simply click OK, and as you can see, we have a small margin here, we have a double margin at the top and we have a small margin over here. Now in order to ensure that our design is in the center, what we're going to do is we're going to simply insert a shape and then we're going to insert a line. And I'm going to go to roughly the center of the document here, click and drag. To ensure that it's completely vertical, if I hold the shift key down, it will ensure that my line is vertical. So if I go slightly to the left, I press the shift key, the line will move and be perfectly vertical. If you need to move this line left or right, then you can simply use your arrow keys to simply move the line left or right. Okay, and I'm happy with it there. The next thing I'm gonna do is go up to layout, and I'm going to, sorry, design, and then I'm going to change the color of my page. And I'm going to select this blue color here. Now each time I seem to do this, my line moves down the page. So I'm just gonna click back on my line, and I'm just gonna use my up arrow, and I'm simply gonna move the line upwards to the top of the page. Now at the moment, if you put this card through the printer, the entire card will print with a blue background but I don't want that for the entire card. I want the back of it to be white, primarily to save ink. So if I want a white background, if you want it like this, that's absolutely fine. You just leave it like this. If you don't, then you can simply go to insert a shape. I'm going to go to the square and then I'm going to simply click and drag. And you can see it will actually just click into place with that middle line that we drew, which is really helpful. And then I'm going to simply go to shape format. If it doesn't say shape format, then just click on your shape, go to the shape format, go to shape fill and simply click uh, white. Now at the moment you've also, you can just faintly see there's a shape outline going around the 
outside and you can just see the black line that's running across the top. So we want to get rid of that so if we click on our shape again go to shape format if you click on this icon here saying shape outline and click white and again once again that will turn white and what you're left with is a card with a white back and a blue front. So now what we want to do is to add some simple design to our card. So I'm going to go up to insert and across to icons. Now in this particular version of Word you have a number of different icons to choose from and there's a particularly helpful section in the celebrations. Now you don't have to choose the design I'm choosing but you can scroll through these icons and select what you think is appropriate for your card. But today I'm going to select this cake icon and click insert. Now at the moment the cake icon will come up here but at the moment it's behind our white shape. So if I try to move it, you can see it's here. If I try to move it, you can see it doesn't want to move. So all I need to do is to go up to wrap text, click on that and click in front of text and then you can move your design. Okay, so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger and then just pull it down to the bottom here. Now at the moment this is just an icon. Now if I want to I can just go and change the colour of this icon by simply going up to the graphic formats up here, graphic fill and let's say I wanted to change it to pink it would change my whole shape pink, my whole icon pink. But actually this icon is actually a number of different shapes and so you can actually change the colour of the different elements which is what I want to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this icon here saying convert to shape. Now don't forget if that doesn't appear it's because you're not you haven't selected your icon. So select your icon, go to graphic format and click convert to shape and then just click yes to the alert and if it bounces around the page just bring it back and then now what you can see is that your icon is split into these different shapes. Now these shapes can actually be moved so if you wanted to make them bigger or smaller, you wanted to change them around, you wanted to rotate them, you could do any of those, it's, it's um, really adaptable. You can just change the centre of the shape, um, all sorts of things. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the colour of my shape. So I'm going to go up to shape format and I'm just, you can click on here and you can choose any of these colours. If the colour of your choice isn't there, then simply click on more fill colours. And then you're given a range of different menu options up here to choose from. And there you have the colour wheel. I just click on this one, the colour will come back up. So I'm going to choose a nice pink colour and click OK. I'm also going to do that with that part of the shape and that one as well. These up here I'm going to change to white and then I'd like to put a border around my shape. So let me just make that a little bit bigger. So in order to put a border around these um, different shapes I'm again going to remain on shape format and I'm going to click on shape outline and I'm going to click on black. Now I want my borders to be quite thick but if you want yours to be a little bit thinner if I just click on format pane up here then you'll see these several menu options up here. Now because we're dealing with the shape colour itself then we need this icon here and this will allow you to change the internal colour of your shape. So at the moment I'm on white but if you want to change it then obviously you can go up here and you can change that colour. In addition to that, you've also got this icon here on the drop down, and this refers to the line that goes around your shape. Now, at the moment, I'm on 2.55, but if I wanted to reduce that, I can either type the number in or I can simply press the down arrow, and as you can see, the outline has reduced in size. But I'm going to stay with 2.55, or let's just say at 2.5, that's fine. Now, I'm going to click on the next one, 
and click on shape outline but because it's already black I just simply press on the black section and it will come up. Now I'm going to change this one to 2.55 because that's actually what my default is at the moment and then just go up and click on each section of the shape and click on shape outline and it will go along and change the outline of all the shape. Now you can again, you can change the colour of that, so if your outline you want it to be something completely different then simply just click on the colour icon up here and you can change that border. Okay, so the next part is that I just want to add some text up here. So I'm going to go up to insert, text box, draw text box and I'm simply going to click and drag. I'm just going to type my text and then I want to center this and to make it bigger so I'm going to highlight the text go to the home tab click on center and then I'm going to use the font increase size tab and just click until the text is the size I want and then I'm just going to quickly change that font to this one and I'm happy with that. The next thing I want to do is put a little bit of a border at the top. Now with this text box if you just wanted the words and you didn't want the white background and you didn't want the border you just simply select your text box, go to shape format, click on the shape fill and click no fill and click on shape outline and click no fill and then you can just have the words and you don't have to have any of the box around it but I'm just going to put a box at the top just to highlight those words. Now I'm going to come back to the location of all these icons and text in a second. So I want to change the colour of my text box so I'm going to go up to shape fill and I'm going to select this purple colour here but I don't want an outline so I'm going to leave the outline off. Okay, so that outline's still on, so I'm just going to go to Shape Outline and click No Outline. Okay, now the first thing that I can see is a bit of a problem here is the fact that if I scroll in, you can just see how that purple has overlapped this white shape here. And the easiest way to deal with that is to simply send this box to the back because all of these elements are actually in a layer so one will be on top of the other. So if I go to shape format and I've selected my text box and I go to this icon here that says send backwards, if I just click send to back it's now sent that text box to the back of the layers and it's below this shape icon here. So the next thing I want to do is just pull this text box down a little bit so it's not so close to the top of the card and what I want to do now is just to make the cake just a little bit bigger and just move it towards the centre. And the final thing I think it needs is just a border around that text box but I want the border to match the border around the cake so if I highlight the text box again make sure I'm on shape format and if I go to the shape options, you've got two options up here, if you go to the text options you won't find the border options so you need to go to shape options and you need to go down to line and I'm just going to put 2.55 in there, press enter and you can see that the lines around the outside are the same width as my shape. So I'm just going to stretch that text box out so that I don't actually see it. Now once you're finished if you just move this square, this shape over, click on your line here and simply press delete and then just move your shape back. It will click back into the halfway point and then it means that that line will in no way be printed when you print the card. So that's my simple design for today. I hope it's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.